go. All right, here we are, August 6, 2021. Uh, here to give you an El Toro update. This is the section of the track where the train basically valleyed, derailed. Um, derailed. And so this is to give an update to show that it appears as if this section of track, which last time we were here was actually removed, has been put back. And if you look straight ahead where I'm pointing there, where the two sections of track join, they're all brand new bolts. So all of this has been returned back to place. And it looks like a lot of the side strips of metal on the inside of the track have all been replaced. And it actually looks like there's all new bolts from here all the way down to the adjoining section over here. And that appears to be on both sides. And then if you go and look up here, you can see all brand new bolts on the side strips on the inside metal strips on the track as well. And I can see new bolts in various locations all along. So it appears as if the track was put back. And uh, this may be an indication of um, that the El Toro might be running again this year. All I right. don't know off the top of my head, but if I were to guess, I'd say that uh, maybe maybe it'll uh, get the green light soon. Brown We're train, hoping. The brown train is missing, and there's only the red train. Yeah, we and can see here. The brown train's here, a little derailed, so it's probably gone. Yeah, we are actually in the queue line for Zoom and Jaro, and we're sitting here looking at this, and we've been kind of looking at this for months now since the accident, and uh, this looks like uh, this looks like a good sign. So. Let's keep our fingers crossed for El Toro. All right.